behind you. <laughs> okay, ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Ready? No, oh, Brad. I'm supposed to catch it. It's mine. Okay, okay. Well, hey, if anything entitles you to a do-over, I can't believe this is happening. No, forget about Brad. Just hand no, it over. Okay, wait, 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 wait. This isn't right. What do you think you're doing? An accident. I just came in at the wrong time. We should have left in the first place. You've been treating this wedding like it was a joke from the start, and I'm sick of it. So is everybody else. I don't want any more tests. No matter what we do, it's, it's not going to change the fact that I'm dying, right? No, it's not. So then there's really nothing that we need to do tonight. And I'd like to go home. Look, Carly, if you leave, I can't stop you, but you're doing this against medical advice. That's what I do best. Ignore advice. Look, if something happens to you, we can't help you. I'm right here, right now, and you can't help me, so what's the difference? The difference comes if we succeed in making you more comfortable. I know that you want to do everything you can. But if nothing can save my life, is there really any point? A new low, even for you. I had good. Time. You had absolutely no reason. Who stands at an altar and answers a cell phone? Probably some bimbo you met at a bar last week. Brad, you were supposed to be standing up for me at my wedding. You got married, didn't you? Me not being there didn't change That's not that. the point. I wanted you here. But no, you couldn't suck it up long enough to watch me marry Katie. This has got nothing to do with Katie. It's got everything to do with Katie. She didn't choose you. So you had to act out because you just, you just, you couldn't handle it. You didn't get what you wanted. Will you listen to me? No, I'm not going to listen to you. I'm going to go on my honeymoon. Just stop talking. Whatever you have to say, listen everything to me, you care about. I wasn't with another woman. I was with Carly. Oh, you're pulling out all the stops She's now, aren't you? She's sick, man. She's in the hospital, and it's serious. You were just... You will use any excuse, hey, Jack, won't you? Jack, hey, Jack, you know, whatever you think of me, I wouldn't lie about someone being sick. Come not on. Not even if Carly wanted you to. She didn't. Okay, she only called me because she felt like she had no one else to turn to. She made me promise not to say anything. Oh, so that makes all out. the sense in the world. Of course she made you promise, because she knows you can't keep a secret. So it's perfect for her. She gets her little information out there, and she keeps her hands clean. No, man, it's not like that. Then what is it like? Tell me, please. You got my attention now. She collapsed in old time. Like she did before. No, not like she did before. The first time, actually, that was real. <laughs> Okay. The second time was worse because when she woke up, she was disoriented. She didn't know who she was. There was a cop there. He recognized her, brought her to the station. Call. Check it out. So she was calling you from the station? Yes. So I went there, took her to the hospital so a doctor could look her over. What'd they say? Look, Jack, it's, it's not my place. What'd they say? Look, I'm not, no, I'm not going to tell you. You want to know what's going on with her? Then you have to ask her yourself. Fine. I'll call her. You think I'll let her enter her phone in the hospital room? She's been getting these headaches, man. Really bad. Really bad. And, you know, that's what's been causing the fainting spells. That's why she blacked out when she was in the car with Sage. She never really did make you can give me a good explanation for what happened. She night. couldn't without you, without letting you know what was going on. I mean, she didn't want to put this on you with the wedding so close. So why are you telling me this now? Because she's refusing treatment. The doctor says she can't afford to wait. She's not listening to the doctors. Oh, come on, man. You know Carly. She thinks she's got everything under control, but she doesn't. Oh, man, I hope holding 20 bucks. Jack hasn't killed you yet. Katie. Stop. Mr. Snyder, we have to start our honeymoon. Would you like to go now? What's wrong? What did you say to him? No, Brad didn't do anything. We're going to have to take a different flight, I think. Why? What happened? Carly's sick. She's in the hospital. Brad says it's... It's serious, and if she's going to be watching the kids, I just want to find out for myself if everything's okay. Yeah, yeah, of course. Jack, I'm sorry. Yeah, what are you apologizing to me for? I should be apologizing to you. This is your wedding day. It's okay. You have to figure out what's going on. Well, yeah, I'll be as fast as I can, okay? Okay. I love you. I love you. Jack told me what's going on. I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, he doesn't want the kids to know until he has a chance to talk to Carly or a doctor, so uh, I'm going to uh, take him for a hay ride or something, and uh, if you hear anything, call me, let me know. Okay. Thank you. How bad is it? 
What, what, you're not going to call me a liar or accuse me of being part of some massive conspiracy? No, I know this is real. Well, we gave it away. The look on your face right now, you're scared. Katie. How bad is it, Brad? It's pretty bad. What are you doing here? It's my turn to ask the questions now. Are you a doctor? Then you would be... It's, he's my ex-husband. So what's going on here? Uh, I'm sorry. I can't talk about Carly's case without her consent. Uh, I'm sorry. I gotta go. Listen, I'll be back. And hopefully you'll have a better chance of getting through to her than the other guy did. The other guy. He's talking about Brad, isn't he? Oh, damn him. He wasn't supposed to say anything. Really didn't give him much of a choice, Carl. I don't care. He promised me, Jack, I you didn't said want you're to sick know. And that you're refusing treatment? The treatment would be a waste of time. Why? Why would the treatment be a waste of time? Because I'm dying, Jack. There's nothing anybody can do. Henry, can I ask you a favor? Bubbles, today you can ask me for anything. I just talked to the airline, told them that we would be postponing our honeymoon. I'm sorry. It is still my wedding night, so I would like to spend it with my husband, whether it's in a hospital or not. It's a healthy attitude. Yes, it is. And you have cake. And I have cake. Aha! So I was wondering if you would take me to the hospital? Oh, of course I will. I think I should just be there for Jack right now. Maybe I can make things a little easier for him. You are not dying, Carly. Jack. No, this is crazy. I mean, what, who, who is this doctor? What do you know about him? Dr. Evers is a neurologist. He knows what he's doing. They run a lot of tests. Okay, listen to me. These, these, these blackouts that you're having, fainting spells, whatever you want to call them, they're not fatal. All right? And if you're turning down treatment, obviously there, there is a way to fix the problem, so why don't you let them do that? The treatment is just to make me more comfortable. There's no cure. Cure for what? I have a tumor. A lesion on my brain. <laughs> because of where it is, they can't operate. It's going to get worse. Okay, so these... These doctors, they, they know what it is and they know where it is. And there's nothing they can do about it? Is that what you're telling me? Dave, they've already told me what I can expect over the next couple of months. Come on, months. Wait, 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 wait a second. Wait, whoa, hold on a second. Are you saying... That's how long you're giving me. No. No, this isn't, this isn't happening. I'm not gonna let you die, Carly. Well, hey there, kinfolk. How was the hay ride? Oh, it ruled. We went out in the woods and stuff, and um, Faith got all scared. I was not. Parker, tell him. We were maybe a little scared. Uh, so where'd you go, anyway? I mean, you bailed on uh, You know what? Ceremony. It's getting kind of late. We should probably get going. Where's your stuff? I put it in the car. All right, let's go. Brad, keep me posted. We'll do. Come on, sir. You know, I'm going to go upstairs, and I'm going to play some video games. Yeah. Good night. Night. You got big plans tonight, my man? Not really. I should probably head up. Why is Jack's bags here? What? Well, I mean, he and Katie were supposed to leave for the honeymoon right after the wedding, but they didn't, did they? How come? 